Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube channel. Today is December the 17th of 2021. I'd like to bring you another word from the Lord today that will encourage your spirit. Before I do that, I'd like to let you know that the book, Prophetic Journal, Book 1, is ready and available to be purchased on the Amazon channels. For your convenience, I've put a direct link on my website from where you can purchase this book. Today I'd like to share a word with you regarding the Lord's return. This word speaks of a preparation process that has been taking place and that it is preparation for the Lord's return. This preparation has taken the Bride of Christ through much trial and tribulation for the purpose of preparing her for the Bridegroom. And for those of you who have been experiencing great trials in this season, be encouraged that there is a purpose in them and that the Lord is accomplishing His purposes through them. One note I'd like to make regarding the religious spirit. The Lord speaks about religion, specifically religions of men, whether that's in the church or in the world. And this spirit is in opposition to the spirit of the Lord. And so the Lord is dealing with the religious spirit in this day to accomplish his end time purposes by the power of his spirit. I hope this explanation will bring some clarity as I present this word. I'll begin by reading scripture. Isaiah 40 verses 3 through 5. A voice cries in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places plain, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. This scripture speaks of a preparation for the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'll begin reading the word. Go into the harvest fields and make disciples of men. Do not be conformed to the ways of religious men, but be completely transformed by the renewing power of my spirit, says the Lord. Be ready to be lifted up and out of the trickery of men, and ushered into the full flow of my spirit. Be encouraged, for I am moving rapidly upon the earth to bring all things into order, all things into submission at my feet. I am the vine, and you are the branches. Abide in me, and do not be led astray by the ways of men. Great grace is upon you, Grace that will lead you into the river of God, flowing through the nations. I'm opening doors that no man can close, and closing doors that no man can open. I am making a way in the wilderness, says the Lord, through the briars and thistles, through the opposition. I am giving authority to those of my choosing to those who truly seek me in the place of rest. This is the day when I shall bring forth the finished product of the trials and tribulations, a bride without spot or wrinkle, a bride made ready for her bridegroom. This is the bride come into maturity, wholly embracing the will and ways of the Lord, wholly seeking the heart of the Father. This is the product of my continued work of the Spirit to bring correction to a people who are without knowledge and understanding. 
This is the result of growth in the things of God in the secret place, in the place of intimacy with the Heavenly Father. Be about the Father's business. Keep moving in the direction I am pointing you. Do not be tripped up by the wiles of the enemy, but move forward in the power and liberty of the Spirit of the Lord into areas of expertise being made available to those whose eyes are opened and ears are unstopped to the voice of the Lord. I am taking you out of the wilderness, out of the wanderings, and into the plan and purpose of my heart, says the Lord. My bride shall be radiant. Upon her head shall be the crown of life, and she shall walk in the liberty of the Spirit to be a witness of my full expression in the earth. There has never been a day like this, for I have come to intervene in the ways of men, to untangle the web of lies within the midst of the people. I have come to undo the works of men, to burn them in the fire of my fury. I will not stand for the foul play of religious men, but I will expose the error of their ways and set the captives free from their hold. Go into the fields that are white, go to the lost, to the hurting, to the outcast. Go and do the works that I did. Heal the sick and raise the dead. Perform wondrous signs in the midst of the people, that they might know that I am among them, says the Lord. Make a display of my splendor. Do not be content with the humdrum of the Laodicean church, but step out and into the work of the harvest. I am raising up an army of warriors who will not be content with the way things have been. Their vision is to bring liberty to those who have been bound by years of false religion, to set the captives free from the effects of the enemy, to bring correction to those who are in error. I have raised up a banner that will be carried throughout the land. It is a banner of my love, available to all who would come to receive of the abundance of good things I have to offer, to those who turn their eyes off the way of men and unto me. Choose whom you will serve, men or God. Choose whom you will give allegiance to, men or God. I am asking you to make the choice that you do not remain in the middle, but that you choose one or the other. There is coming a time of separation between those who truly know me and those who only know of me. The time is coming when the line will be drawn between those who have come into the full understanding of the will of God and those who continue on in the empty practices passed down through their earthly fathers. The Heavenly Father invites you to come to Him, to enter into the full spectrum of the revealed will of God. There is no partiality in the kingdom of God. Either you will enter into my presence wholeheartedly, or you will draw back. Yet all may come and partake of the goodness offered, says the Lord. Prepare ye the way for the Lord. Make the way straight. Declare the goodness of God to those who struggle to understand that I have made a way for them to enter into the kingdom. For the day is soon approaching when the doors will be closed. Just as I promised, I am coming in glory to those who have longed for my return, and I shall share my glory with those who truly are mine. Just as I promised, I will come to take that which belongs to me, but for those who are unworthy, I will not extend favor. The day is approaching and almost here when all things will be made new. I am coming soon. Hold on to all that I have shown and taught you, and you will be ready for that day, says the Lord. Great grace will carry you through till the end. My grace I give to you, grace, grace, great grace, grace that is greater than all your sin. This is the grace I am sending to you in this day, grace beyond measure. 
This has been a lengthy word with much in it, but the message coming forth is that the Lord is making preparations for his return, that he's working in the hearts of those who love him, preparing his bride. The trials, the tribulations, the challenges, the tests we are going through are all important to bring the result the Lord is wanting. He hasn't left us nor forsaken us, but instead he is doing a good work in us, preparing us for the glory that is coming with his return. I hope this word encourages you on this day to put your trust in the Lord. He is transforming us into his beautiful bride, prepared and ready. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. May he give you his peace and his joy in the days ahead. We'll talk to you again the next time. Bye for now.